Republican Senator Josh Hawley needs to understand that sometimes the best thing to say is nothing at all. Late Thursday evening, after he was hit with an ethics complaint, along with Republican Senator Ted Cruz, uh, for allegedly helping to incite the insurrection that took place on January 6th, uh, Josh Hawley said the following. He said, Joe Biden and the Democrats talk about unity, but are brazenly trying to silence dissent. This latest effort is a flagrant abuse of the Senate ethics process and a flagrant attempt to exact partisan revenge. And to me, it sounds like somebody just learned what the word flagrant means, right? Right, Holly? I mean, you used it twice in one sentence. Come on, man. Get a thesaurus. Anywho, uh, <laughs> what Holly is trying to do here is, you know, put the blame back on them. Like, Hey, it's not my fault. I did all these horrible things. You gave the fist of unity to the people who later stormed our offices. No, 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 no. It's your fault. Cause you say you want unity yet. You want to hold me accountable for my actions. How dare you? That's not unity. That's making me mad. That's silencing dissent. He says silencing dissent. Here's the thing folks. Totally cool. If you have a legitimate dissent, like if you fundamentally disagree with an issue and you have facts to back up why you disagree with it, not just because, well, I don't like it. Eh, it doesn't cut it. That's not dissent. That's playing political games because you're a big baby. If he had legitimate concerns about the 2020 presidential election, he should have gone there as he did and not just objected to it, but presented actual reasons why. And saying that because more people got to vote, eh, it's not really a good reason. Kind of seems like you hate the democratic process there. And that's the problem. Both Hawley and Cruz and, uh, you know, 132 Republicans in the house and about 10 other Republicans in the Senate, they had no evidence to back up their dissent. They had no basis for their dissent other than they got their widow feelings hurt and they didn't like it. it made them sad. That's not a valid reason. That's not a valid reason to go into the Senate chambers following an insurrection by crazed Trump supporters and still saying, no, I'm objecting. I'm objecting on what grounds, on what grounds Senator, because the government of Pennsylvania was allowed to decide how they carry out their own elections as afforded to them by the U S constitution, because that's what happened. And that pissed you off. Just as it pisses all Republicans off when we have more people voting, because as y'all have clearly stated multiple times for multiple people in the last 12 months, when you have more people voting, it's less likely Republicans will win. And that's what you're pissed off about. Fact of the matter is that Josh Hawley has been given every possible opportunity to make amends for what he did on January 6th. He could have come out and said, listen, yes, I objected to the results. It was based on, you know, what we were being told. We now know that that was inaccurate and I regret my decision. I regret if I caused any pain, if I gave any indication that I supported these insurrectionists or that I backed what they did. Absolutely not. I am all in favor of the prosecution of the individuals who did the horrible things. And I'm sorry for my actions and I promise you it will not happen again. That's all he had to do. And then boom, Democrats would have eaten that up and said, oh, he's learned his lesson. He fine little guy. Instead, he digs himself deeper. He doubles down on it. He tries to make himself look like the victim. This was supposed to be the guy that was going to emerge, by the way, as like the front runner for the Republicans in 2024. And his stock is falling rapidly and he doesn't know what to do. So he just keeps digging himself into that hole deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper until eventually he's going to find himself so far down that hole that the fastest way to get out is going to be dig through to the other side. But once he gets there, he's going to realize he has no public support. He didn't win over Donald Trump's base and he absolutely destroyed any chance he had of moving up in his political career. That is the path that, path that Josh Hawley is on. And I'll be damned if I'm going to take him off that path.